Hi everybody, I'm Kyle at Nashville Motos, Ducatista here. Um, today we're going to be talking about the uh, 2023 Ducati Desert X in the uh, Audi RS Q e-tron livery that they had in the Paris Dakar race the last couple years. Um, really, really cool paint job, uh, get the red seat, um, some cool red accents and, and uh, decals and this is all just amazing, looks really, really good. Um, some things to note about these bikes, if you haven't uh, watched any reviews yet, um, fantastic machine off-road. Fully adjustable suspension, front and back, preload, compression, rebound, whole nine yards. Um, really a top quality product for anybody that's um, either curious about riding off-road, it's very confidence inspiring, and then anybody that's a purist, like really wants to be able to um, go hard on an adventure bike off-road. Uh, we've got KYB's front and back. It's a very good uh, Japanese suspension that you'll find on most pretty hardcore enduro bikes. Um, I think there's about 230 millimeters of travel on the front, 220 on the back, and overall the whole thing with a full tank of gas weighs just under 500 pounds. I think it's about 491 pounds. Very lightweight, um, not a whole lot to it. Uh, when you let that clutch out and start rolling, it's uh, even lighter, even lighter. It feels very light um, between the legs and uh, advanced maneuvering and slow maneuvering. It's a fantastic machine for that. Um, the, the tech on this bike is insane. Uh, the wheelie control, the skid control, ABS, everything's just super, super advanced. My personal favorite for technical off-road riding is the uh, ability to control the engine braking. So when you let off the throttle, you can choose if you want a lot of engine braking or if you want almost none at all and just coast. Um, that's a great feature for trials riders, especially if you come from like two-stroke world where you're not used to a lot of engine braking. Um, that's a cool feature. Even if you're not into off-road riding, this bike is fantastic. Um, cuts through the wind quite nicely. You can get a taller windscreen if you just want to have the look and tour on the road all the time with it. Great bike for that. Um, you can get bigger tanks, auxiliary tanks in the back, and I think that increases your fuel load to almost eight gallons. Um, there's luggage options available. Um, like I said, taller windscreen. There's all sorts of ways to use this motorcycle. Um, and uh, if anyone has any questions, let me know. We'd love to hear from you guys. Um, good suspension setups. I mean, this suspension's all fully adjustable. Uh, maybe we'll shoot a video on uh, how to adjust the suspension to your riding style, to your weight. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, and uh, Kyle, Ducatiste at Nashville Motos, we'll talk to you later.